Hello everybody, I am just Lance and I would like to welcome you all back for another video. Uh, I'm a little scruffy here, um, got a little bit of head grow, uh, stubble up on my noggin. This is actually the second filming of the video. I tape, did the filming yesterday and about every fourth or fifth word was me saying, uh, um, so I figured you guys didn't want to hear that, so I tried editing it all out, and the video was very choppy when I was done. So I figured, what the hell, let's shoot it again. Anyways, today, as you can see, I'm not going to be shaving. Uh, it's not a unboxing or anything like that. It is simply a shaving soap review on the shaving soap that was shown in my last video, What's New in the Den, which is this one here, Captain's Choice North. Before I get into the review though, I would like to do a few shout outs, shout outs and get those out of the way. The first one is to Daryl Quinn. Uh, I went ahead and mentioned him in the last video and after I posted the video I received a YouTube notification telling me that Daryl Quinn has subscribed to my channel. So I figure either it's the original Daryl Quinn and he had some issue like maybe his uh, YouTube account, he had to get a new one, whatever, I'm not sure. So maybe he had to resubscribe, or it's a new Daryl Quinn. So if it's the old Daryl, um, glad you stuck with me. If you're a new Daryl, then welcome to the channel. I appreciate every subscriber, every like, the comments, all that. The second shout out is to Big Rich. Rich, welcome to the channel. Appreciate you signing up, subscribing. And the third one is to, and I hope I don't get this wrong, Salupi Martinez Bastida. Welcome to you as well, sir. So, shout outs are out of the way. Let's go ahead and move on to the soap review. When I did the Watch New in the Den video, I had mentioned. Um, this soap um, being my first captain's choice. So, full disclosure, have never used not even a captain's choice sample. Um, so, this is all uh, brand new to me, this soap, which I rather enjoyed. So, let's cover why I enjoyed it. First off, packaging. The packaging was nothing spectacular. I mean, it was no more than what any other artisan would do. Uh, Sterling does shrink wrap their soaps before they mail them out. So, Sterling is great there with packaging. But this was packaged in the bottom of the box. On top of it was a Ziploc bag. In the Ziploc bag was a Captain's Choice business card, a handwritten note, which I find handwritten notes from either a soap vent artisan or a uh, wet shaving vendor to be a nice touch. If they do a handwritten note and they're an artisan, it's showing me that they're they take pride in their product. If it is a handwritten note from a website such as West Coast Classic Shave, whatever the site may be, it tells me that they take pride in the products they sell and in their business. Uh, is it a is it a deal breaker if I go ahead and open up an order that has no handwritten note? 
No, it's not. You probably hear my girlfriend in the background right now. Our son, he's at that stage where he's fighting against taking naps. So we have to deal with that. So back to the soap. And the set in the bag was also three samples. One was sandalwood, which was a wonderful smelling sandalwood. It didn't have that earthy tone like Parasso Red. The, it had a nice cologne scent. I really liked it. I haven't used it yet, but I plan to. And the second sample was 48th Parallel. I love the smell of cherries and almonds. That is, those are two of my favorite scents. So having them together was really nice. It kind of made me think a little bit of K Shave Works 366. Um, which you can't get anymore, which is a real shame. So I plan on adding 48th Parallel to my den. The third sample was, at first I thought it was Bay Rum Shaving Cream, and I figured, well, the heat wave and the high, higher temperatures just made it go liquidy. So I put it in a drawer to let it kind of firm back up. That didn't seem to work. I popped it in the fridge, opened it up. It was still not as liquidy, but it was still pretty, pretty liquidy. So I asked my girlfriend, I said, is this Bay Rum or Bay Rum Bomb? And she said, oh, Bay Rum Aftershave Bomb. So I got the bomb. Now I use, have used the bomb twice and I absolutely loved it. Uh, I shaved my head, I shaved my face, and it just left my skin feeling really nice. It didn't leave my skin feeling oily or tacky. I really enjoyed it. I plan on adding some Captain's Choice bombs to my den eventually. Anyhow, that's for the samples. So let's move on to the soap. First off, let's take a look at scent. Uh, I love this smell or this scent i grew up in the mountains in a small town if you see a little glitch i had to edit out a quick uh, water break my mouth was getting dry but i grew up in a small mountain town and it wasn't like the pacific northwest central california uh, we didn't have real heavy dense forests but we had a lot of pine trees where I grew up. And to me, this kind of takes me back to when I was a kid running around the mountains. When I first opened it, I thought that it had a bit of a citrusy note, but that is not there. To me, I figure it was probably the juniper in it, which went ahead and... and Hold me there for a second on the citrusy note. The scent strength, it's it's less than medium. It's a little bit more than Razor Rock. However, I don't think I would want to open my open this soap and have my entire bathroom smell like a pine forest. Uh, I just you know I'm just not into. Uh, pine that much even though i love the scent of pine i don't think i would want to have that smell right in my face but at the strength this is it's pleasant as you lather it the scent does come out a little more now let's so that's on the scent let's take a look at consistency i don't know if i have it lined up but it's a pretty soft soap i stuck my finger in went down to the bottom of the tin of the tub let me grab a washcloth I got right here, which, here it is, one moment, drop the soap, <laughs> glad I ain't in prison saying that, uh, <laughs> um, anyhow, the tub, nice, good plastic tub, like I said, the scent's great, I'll go ahead and put this aside so I can move on. The consistency, it's soft. 
Now, if you're not into real soft soaps, you might not want Captain's Choice because it is pretty soft soap, which made it really easy to lather up onto the brush and made pretty quick on building lather. But unfortunately for me, I wasn't used to soap quite that soft. So as I was loading my brush, I kind of went a little ape and loaded up too much each time. So the tub is a little bit lighter than it should be at this point, but that's fine. Now let's go into the shave. I did three shaves with Captain's Choice. I figured one shave wouldn't be enough to do a review, so I did three shaves. The only commonalities the shaves had, other than the soap, was the first and third shave was face lather. The first and second shave used the same blade. And all three shaves used the same, I used the same aftershave, which was grouped green, which I thought went real well with the soap. So the first shave, I used a Gillette, my 1940s Gillette Fat Handle Tech with a Gillette Silver Blue blade. Uh, loading and the brush I used was my 24 millimeter uh, Razor Rock barber handle the soft brush loaded up fine uh, building the lather on my face that worked fine what I found about it and I have hard water your experience may vary is it kind of reminded me of Parasso Red as I was building the lather as far as with me Parasso Red as I'm building it and I'm adding water it just kind of is like yeah, until it reaches that perfect point of saturation and then the lather's like boom and it just explodes that's what I found with that on all three shades actually is until you reach the right point or at least the two with face lathering until you reach that perfect saturation point it's not really gonna do much the second shave oh by the way uh, the slickness residual slickness great cushion glide was there post shave fill wonderful the second shave I used it was a little bit more aggressive razor which was the Schick uh, 1965 Schick Corona black handle DE razor and that one I use I did the lather in my Crown King scuttle and I used my Omega 10066 bore brush and that I want to see how much water the soap could take before it before it start to try and drown out drown out um, it accepted water just fine but when it reached that point and I started to feel the lather go a little soupy I just added some more soap from the tub into it and I was able to save it so it gave me um, the lather was a little thinner than the first one which the first shave I got a nice thick creamy lather the second one wasn't quite as thick because of the water which I expected that um, but the slickness and residual slickness was there cushion glide had that post shave fill no problem I liked it the third shave was a single edge shave and I used my colonial razors general with a brand new fresh out of the sleeve feather artist club super uh, single edge blade for that one the brush I used was my whip dog 24 millimeter high mountain white badger in the tall amber handle now badgers are a little finicky at least I find them to be and I've heard from other wet shavers say the same thing uh, but once I got the soap ratio and the water ratio dialed in the bra the, the shave went just fine slickness great residual slickness great cushion glide all there post shave fill felt great in fact the residual slickness I found in all three shaves was good enough to where 
all I had to do for pickups was run the razor head underwater and I could sit there and, t -t 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 and do the pickups without having to apply more, more soap. Now, would I consider adding more Captain's Choice products to my den? Absolutely. It's a great soap. Um, the softness of the soap is the only knock I have against the soap. That's it. Um, but I would add it to my den. I plan on adding more Captain's Choice soaps and some of the creams to my den. If I had someone come in to today and say, hey, we're confiscating all your soaps and you are no longer able going to be able to buy any other soap but Captain's Choice for the rest of your life. I'd be bummed, yes. I like Sterling, I like Razor Rock, I like other soap. However, would I have a problem with it? No. It would it it's it's that good. I like it that much. <laughs> Excuse me. So yes, I consider it a good soap. I consider it a top tier soap. The only knock I have on it, like I said, is the, you know, the firmness of the soap. Other than that, it's great. Would I recommend Captain's Choice products to anyone else that hasn't tried it? Yes, I would. If you haven't tried it, go out, get it. Just be mindful of the softness of the soap. If you're used to harder soaps, just keep that in mind. But it's a great soap. It will go ahead and give you a great shave. And it'll give you all that you want in a soap. Um, oh, yeah, before I forget, on my last video, I mentioned a, I showed my, my valet, or valet, and I asked if anybody knew what model, whether it was a VC1, 2, 3, or 4, if somebody could let me know. I posted the video on Jim Fan Club, said, hey, maybe one of you guys here can go ahead and tell me what I've got with the single edge. A gentleman told me that's a VC2 that will not accept the gem blades, the modified gem, but they will accept the feather spineless. And he called it the million dollar razor because apparently that when Gillette and Valet merged, that that was the valet that was in current production. So that's why he called it the million dollar razor because he said that was the model that got it right. So um, I can't remember your name, sir, but thank you for the info. Anyways, so that's my review. I hope you all enjoy it. I hope this is helping for any of you. And um, by the way, I can't remember if I said it or not. Out of the three shaves, the best shave I got per, for me was the one with the synthetic brush. Um, there guy, are guys out there that use bores a lot more often than I do. Uh, and they could probably get a better result from the with the bore with a bore brush. And there's guys out there like Anthony Esposito that primarily uses Badger. And they could definitely go ahead, and they're so used to the Badger, they know the ins and outs of the Badger brush. And I'm sure they could definitely get a much better shave that way compared to me. Um, as far as whipping up a nice thick ladder. Anyhow, like I said, that's my review. I hope you all have enjoyed it, and I will see you all on the flip side of the blade. Bye-bye now.